everybody, this is Ricky from Ricky's Train Videos. Today I am going to be doing a review on the MTH Rail King Black River and Western SD9. In this video I am going to be going over the features of this locomotive and running it around the layout. So this is an SD9, it was produced by MTH in 2017. Up front there is a detachable snow plow that can be put on and obviously it has been put on. Also there is an operating protocoupler. Coming up here we have some metal chains and metal handrails, illuminated number boards and headlight, rule 17. Onto the side there is the ABS plastic body and metal trucks. There are hand painted interior cab figures. Moving along to the side, there are some nice other details on the side. There are some painting and danger high voltage signs to let people know not to go in there. On top, there's an operating smoke unit with two outputs and a horn. Onto the back, it's basically the same thing as the front, otherwise there is no uh, letter denoting that this is the forwards, this is the backwards end of the locomotive. There is a, a operating protocoupler on this end and there is a screw holes for the detachable snow plow but I decided to put the snow plow on the front but if you wanted you can put it on the back. Up here same thing there are the metal handrails and chain, illuminated number boards and headlight. Now I'm going to fire up this locomotive and run it around the layout. For those who don't know, the Black River and Western Railroad is a small tourist railroad located in Hunter County, New Jersey, and they do caboose trains every once in a while on their main line. And to recreate this, I have set up a line of my cabooses, so I'm going to make it seem like this engine is pulling caboose trains. This engine right now is currently in Virginia, where it can come back to New Jersey is unknown. But for now it is in Virginia, but I still think it is cool to have a Black River engine pulling some cabooses as it would be in New Jersey. So without further ado, let's fire up this thing. First up is the horn. And here is a crew talk sequence. Roger that. Dispatcher to local freight. You're getting a red block. Stop and stay. I'm ready to move this locomotive out. In the middle of this running session, I will stop the locomotive and do the PFA sequence. Dispatcher, what's the situation? Over. 
This is the dispatcher. We've got a report that one of your flat cars has an unsecured load about 15 cars back. I recommend you all get a handle on that before proceeding. I've got a crew heading your way to assist you. Over. Thank you, dispatcher. We'll start looking and meet up with your crew. Out. Some chains broke loose. I'm glad none of the load shifted. Yeah, that would have been a headache no one wanted. Hey, here comes that work crew. Hmm, broken chain. My guys will take care of that. I'll check the other cars while we're here, just to be safe. I'll give you a hand. Welcome back, Frank. We're done up here. Nothing shifted, and they got the load secured with spare chains. Yeah, we didn't find anything wrong back further. I guess that chain was the only issue. I'm glad we got that sorted out before any serious damage was done. The worker informed the dispatcher we should see a proceed signal soon. And there it is. Here we go. That wraps it up for this video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.